Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie and you are joining me for the brand new video, how to choose the perfect paint color to match wood finishes. This is a highly requested video, so we'll be discussing a variety of different wood tones, from light and raw woods, to trendy gray woods, to medium tones, yellow tones, red tones, to rich and dark stains to find your perfect paint match. If you've been looking for the best wall color paint to match your wood finishes, this video is for you. From flooring to cabinets to wood trim on your casings, your windows, your doors, ceiling beams, stair handrails, and furniture, you can find wood finishes virtually anywhere in your home. Think about the shade or tone you're trying to match. Don't worry about what it's called, what the name is, what the color is, because virtually any type of wood could be stained darker. Simply look for a close match of the wood color that you have existing in your home. Compare it to the inspiration images to find your perfect wall color that's suited just for you. Before we get into all the beautiful interiors and inspiration, let's talk about color theory. Color correction is all about using opposite colors on the color wheel to eliminate unwanted color or to tone down saturated hues that aren't so desirable. Cherry and mahogany finishes have a reddish tone, so you'll be looking across the color wheel to green to help tone those reddish colors down. If you're into makeup, it's the same idea. You would look for a green concealer to hide like a red pimple. Honey oak is notorious for being way too yellow, so you'll be looking at purplish hues, purple tinted wall paint colors to help tone those yellows down. Gray paint is really great for this. You'd be looking for those gray paints with just a hint of lavender to help tone down the honey oak. It's the same concept for colored hair. When my hair gets a little bit too brassy or it has a tinge of yellow, I always use purple shampoo to help tone it down. If your wood tone is more on the orangey side, you would look for paints with a little bit of a blue pigment to help tone down the orange hues. There's no way for me to cover all of the wood stains and tones that exist, but I will be highlighting some of the most popular hues to get you going in the right direction. The type of wood is the species. Stains are the additive colors that you add to the wood to achieve the desired color. For example, you can use a natural maple color and stain it in a dark walnut to achieve a darker, richer hue. Let's talk about the different wood tones and colors ranging from light to dark. Light colors could be anything that's neutral or raw. It can sometimes even be unfinished raw woods. It ranges from maple and pine to ash and light brown wood tones. Here are some of the examples of distressed grays and driftwoods. Golden oak and honey oak are very yellowish in tint and they're very popular in the 90s. Cherry and mahogany have light reddish wood tones to dark reddish wood tones. Rich walnut and dark oaks are the medium brown wood tones. Finally, you have espresso, ebony, and black. It's very modern and contemporary. Here are some examples of the different wood finishes and the interior paint colors that coordinate well with them. Starting with light and natural wood trim and finishes. Seen in a variety of different styles from French country to modern mid-century, white walls can't be beat when it comes to light wood and natural clear stained finishes. Soft coal grays help to bring the natural beauty out so the wood grain becomes a star.
taupes, tans, and beiges feel relaxed and serene. If you're looking to inject some color, try shades of gray blues like these for a calming effect in your room. You don't see a whole lot of gray wood trim, but you know that gray flooring like hardwood and laminate had its heyday about five to 10 years ago when it was all the rage. If your style has evolved past the grays, but you may not have the budget to swap out your flooring, here are some interior paint colors to help bring that beautiful shade out. I like to keep walls light and bright. Just like the natural or light wood trim, neutral walls work best with grays. Look for the tones in the gray floors to help your paint selection. If the plank is warm, opt for a warm neutral paint color. If the plank is cool, go with cooler shades. If your floors are dark, think of going lighter on the walls. If the floors are light, go darker. You're looking for some contrast to help bring the inherent shades out. By far, the most questions and comments I received asking for help with wall paint color is what to pair with honey oak trim. Honey oak trim was so popular in the 90s. I mean, you have your window casings in honey oak, you have your kitchen cabinets in honey oak. Sometimes if they got fancy, they laid out all the flooring in honey oak as well. Honey oak is notorious for being way too yellow and very difficult to coordinate. My best advice is to choose a wall color that helps tone all of that yellow down. White and neutrals work best. You don't want to specify warm whites, yellows, or orangey neutral hues. You'll simply be bringing out more of the same color you're trying to tone down.
Cherry and mahogany wood trim has inherent reddish tones. Green wall color is a popular choice to help tone down those reds, but there is such a thing as bad green. I mean, just think split pea soup. You don't want like pea soup all over your walls. Opt for sage, hunter, or even cool blues to help tone down the reddish hues. When choosing white paint, don't specify anything too warm with yellow undertones. Dark walls look best with lighter floors so the space doesn't feel too cavernous. Rich walnut and medium wood tones are the easiest to pick out paint colors. Rich medium tone woods go well with a variety of cool and warm tone hues in all colors of the spectrum. Cooler colors feel more modern. Warmer colors feel more classic.
Espresso, ebony, dark brown, almost black trim goes with every wall color as well. Think high contrast when you have dark trim. White or off-white achieves that great balance against dark black stain. Dark navy and rich blues give you a moody, masculine vibe. Look to warm beige to give you a cozy cabin vibe. If you have black trim and lighter wood tone floors, grays help to tone down the other wood tones in the floors and furniture. Of all the wood tones, light and natural or super dark have the most flexibility when it comes to coordinating wall paint colors. These wood tones really look great no matter what your wood tone finish looks like. Just think, raw wood is found in nature and nature matches everything. Dark stains or almost black become an anchor for whatever color you put next to it. Almost like black metal or oil rub bronze. It's really modern, fresh, and contemporary, but depending on the finish that you put next to it, it could easily become very classic and traditional. A designer's tip, instead of paint, wallpaper could be a beautiful option to add depth and dimension to any room. Think about creating different layers of color with wall covering plus paint. Remember that you can bring a color code or paint sample chip to virtually any vendor and they will match the color for you. Now why would you need to do this? Not all paints are sold in every state or country, so if you find a color that you love online, you could always bring that color to your specified paint vendor and they will match the color for you. There are a variety of ways to do this. For example, if you loved a Benjamin Moore paint color, but you wanted to use a less expensive brand like Bear from Home Depot, you can simply bring a color chip, a Benjamin Moore sample, to Home Depot. All you need is a quarter size amount and Bear will match the Benjamin Moore color for you. You could also download the individual manufacturer's app and use color captures that way. Benjamin Moore has a paint matching app and a color reader to help you find the perfect paint color from a variety of different sources. Sherwin Williams Color Snap does the same thing. Dunn Edwards has this Insta Color feature online. Bear from Home Depot has this really cool pins to palette feature online. You can also screenshot your favorite images from this video or pretty much any video and let the website do the paint color picking for you.
I want you to keep in mind that paint color changes from home to home, space to space, day to night. So definitely save the colors that you love from this video and always grab another couple samples to paint on the walls. One of the most popular requests I get from clients is to help them choose a paint color before they moved into the home. I'll tell you right off the bat that this could cause really huge issues because the minute that your furniture comes in, the minute that you change all of your light fixtures, natural daylight and synthetic lighting plays a huge role in how your paint colors look on the walls. If you're looking for more inspiration on really great neutrals to use in your space, definitely check out my previous paint video, my favorite neutral paint colors to help you get started. If you have the opportunity for new wood flooring or trim or doors, I always like to start with keeping it natural, staining it clear, or specifying a paint grade wood since it's usually less expensive than stained grade wood and it gives you more flexibility for colors down the line. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up Comment below and let me know if you have any questions when it comes to picking the perfect paint colors to match your wood trim. Definitely share this video with anyone you know who's having issues selecting the perfect paint colors to match their wood trim. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.